Yo, what is happening, guys? Undisputed Vlogs here. Welcome back to the Undisputed Podcast. And we're back with Shay. Hey. Because there's always Shay in the podcast. Yeah. Actually, haven't been here for a fucking time and a half. Yeah, I know, but they don't know that. <laughs> they don't know that. It's been like four weeks. It's been a week. It has not, has it? It has. Well, because I haven't been out with you since I started my new job. Whenever I started, I've been in that job yeah. for about three weeks now. Have you not? Yeah. You sure? I because my, f- I think my first week, uh, or second week in that job, I was on, I was just on GTA with you the whole time. That was, that was a whole oh, week yeah. I was on GTA with you. I was about, oh yeah, no, I was about to say, sure, I recorded with you uh, um before you went away, but I was realising that was a game video. Whenever we were playing GTA, because yeah. I'm just going to record this all. Yeah. That, that's, I was literally thinking there, I was like, fuck, it has been longer than It has, it's been fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Considering we recorded every couple of days, that's mad. Uh, yeah, no, we can't, we can only record on the weekends. Yeah. That's alright though, because we can just do it. Yeah, but uh, do yeah, games. so we're just going to be talking about the strangest encounters we've had with human beings yes. or anything of the sort. Okay. But uh, I only have two off the top of my head. I'll be able to think of more, but I only have two that really stand out to me. Mm. I have one about, I think I've told you before, about public indecency. <laughs> and I've one about being stalked. Right. I think I've told you the one about being stalked. I was like literally 15. I don't know. You'll have to see. Every, I've told everyone really. else. So really? I, I clearly just because we, yeah. I was at a basketball court. And this yeah. girl just stalked me. I'm not joking. Serious? <laughs> Fuck. If I can get access to my old Facebook, we're going to show you matches. I actually want to get access to it to see all the old matches. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. So I'll fucking start off sure. With fucking well. Public indecency one. I, 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 uh, I have No, 12. actually, you start off because you have more. Oh. You, you do about three and I'll do two for this one and then we'll do it. We'll do a part two because we we will have more, and I'm I know for a fact this podcast is gonna do well. So, okay. you start, you do one, I do one, you do one, I do one, then you do one, then. So, okay. how about this? Since I have twelve and I'm only doing three, right? All right. I'll let you read sort of the topics. Okay. I'll let you read down, and then you pick what one you want me to talk about. Okay. For each of them. I'd actually yes. I'd yeah, actually there's also fun. one on the next page. I'm assuming, uh, this is just the. I'm assuming you know these off by heart. Yeah. And these are just literally the... Yeah, the, the topics oh, oh. are where that wee line is. Okay. Okay. But then there's another one there as well. All right, okay. So, let me read all these out, actually. Yeah. Weird guy in shop and psychotic episode. Weird guy in shop on a psychotic episode, police involved. So I, do, so I do. Yeah, I think you told me that one, but I'm not sure. Gay guy who told you to tap him. The talk to Joseph. I know I want. Mm-hmm. Odd woman in the shop that doesn't respond when you ask her questions. Soinked out. Zonked. Soinked out guy with snot on his face. <laughs> guy who asked you for a bro fist, then proceeded to talk to you about Rebecca. Lady who told you she is praying for our, for our family and then gave you a Christian... I'm assuming that says leaflet. Leaflet, yes. See, that's the part. These are neat. And then that part is done. Yeah. Uh, guy who didn't speak any English but wanted a SIM card. Google Translate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give, a, give us a good packet of ham. I know that one. Yeah. Guy who mumbles but you just couldn't understand went out showing giving finger. Some old guy, his last story, but he was about a fi- fiver. Well, he was on about a fiver. Some guy, the same guy from the last story, yeah. which is that one where I had to get Julia down. Um, but he was talking about a fiver. I don't know why. Okay. Guy who asked me why I was so angry. Uh-huh. And then the last one. Suffing drunk that was contracted himself. <laughs> Conte prick drunk twat who contradicted himself, called you a Trump, and his girlfriend kept on talking about Space Raider crisps. I really want to hear that one, but I want to <laughs> probably finish on that one because that one seems fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. So that's annoying. Right. Uh, hmm. I'm actually trying to think of one that I haven't heard yet. Yeah. I've pretty, pretty much told you my whole life at this point, so. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the weird guy in the shop about the psychotic episode. Okay. Because that one just seems very appealing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's sort of appealing. It's not really. Um, okay, then. So, you know the way that I tell stories, I go into way too much detail. Yep. 
I'm going to do that for this one. Okay. Okay, so... Monday you, the 12th of November, you don't have 2015. To point, you, don't have to, you don't have to point out how many TV albums my phone just said. Four. No. Um, <laughs> where is he straight from, off from the garage? Where was he straight from, the Jeremy Cash? I fucking don't know. This is not for the Jeremy Cash. It was a ring like, so yeah. No, right. Uh, so I was on a seven to three, so an eight hour shift. And I was working with the old lady, Edna. Um, really nice, like. And uh, basically... Uh, we were both on the tills. It was a Sunday. We were both on the tills. Um, it was about nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, she was going to refill the slushing machines. Okay. So I was showing her what to put in and all this shit, and then this guy comes to tills. I said to the guy, "Right, just two seconds, man." Um, and then basically I went over to him and I was like, "All right, man, what can I get you?" Sort of thing, just being nice. And then he goes, "Goes up." I was like, "All right." And then basically, this is what he does. I was fucking ignorant. Yeah. Just that. That's I was just fucking rude. He was like that. And then basically, he went, oh, all right, all in a minute. And then he was like 20 something. And he comes in, so he does. And then actually, he came back as well. But he, first off, he, he comes in and then he starts walking about as I'm fucking trying to serve. Oh, was this not at the window now? No, 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 no. This, right, is, okay. this is on day shift. This is all right, okay. One. Um, I know where, a lot of this shit happens at night shift. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, this this is on day shift, but uh, basically, uh, then he starts walking around. I was like, "Fuck me! Can you not just fucking buy your shit and get out?" So sort of thing. Um, uh, and basically, he goes over. Do you know the the old layout of the shop where it was sort of like sweets, like slushies, yeah. crisps, all that shit. He goes to each section of the shelf. Say this was a section of a shelf, and then that was another section here because okay. they're all connected. They can't see what you're doing. I know, yeah. but I'm, I'm t- showing it to you, yeah, right? No, for me. Yeah, so basically, say sweets and shit. This is what he grabs. He just grabs any random fucking shit. Because he's, he's already bought his stuff. Okay. So, no, he hasn't actually at this point. But he, he, uh, he grabs this random shit, sticks it down. I was like, you need this as well? He was like, yeah. He, he sort of didn't seem like he knew what he was buying. He was just buying it to spend money. By the way you're explaining it, he didn't seem like he was all there. It seemed like he yeah. was high. Yes. Uh, yeah, he basically. He did not seem like he was all there. So either high or mentally fucking unstable. Yes, yeah. So, uh, basically... Do you want this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Just came and said, yeah. Exactly. But he, he bought all the stuff and then he walked out. Right? Okay. Ten minutes later, he comes back. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah. He comes back and... Maybe he's hungry again. No, he's banned... Actually, he's banned dinner food and he seems like he knows what he's banned this time. Are you sure? Yeah, he, he comes back in. I bag it up. He tries to pay. His card doesn't work. Oh, yeah. So, sorry, mate. Your card hasn't worked. I need to do it again. Takes his bags. Fucks off. I says to him, Hold on a second. He comes back. He's like, what I said? I was like... I said to you there, your card hasn't worked, so I need to do it again for you. And he's like, why? So you're able to pay me, so you can actually take the stuff out of the shop. <laughs> why? <laughs> he tries it again, card doesn't work. I'm trying to explain to him that his card isn't working, and he's not understanding why his card isn't working. He's like, why? Why is this not working? Oh, all that sort of shit. Who is this, Mr. Lodge? Uh, no, fuck. Why is this not working? Yeah. But he's, he's like, oh, there's no cool beard and everything. And he's, he's, he's saying that there. And then, basically... Why are you walking about? It's probably hard for them to hear. Oh, sorry. Um, I, no, but... Basically, because I need to act it out. But no, he, you can still act it out. It's just like, don't walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, across yeah. The room. No, 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 that's grand. Uh, so, then, basically, three or four times this happens. And then, uh, he also has the stuff that he paid for um, on the desk. Yeah. on the shelf sort of thing where is other stuff that he's trying to pay for is there so he didn't separate no 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 it's 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 in the separate bag oh um and then basically guy says uh, he tries to pay with his phone phone doesn't work either his accounts must have been blocked since he was reported missing um i'll tell you that in a second i was about to say wrong. i was like maybe he spent so much money mm-hmm. no is it not if you spend so much money for a space of time yeah your account gets blocked i think so 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty it's sure. It's like, no way you can only lift out so much from an ATM. And yeah. if not, you can only spend so much and then it gets blocked. I think that, yeah. Or if um, you do, you have to actually go to the bank mm-hmm. and actually say why in case someone's lifting your money out. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it just wasn't working. And then I said to him, look, he goes, so wait, what's happening here? Why can't I pay for this? I says, he goes, or he, he didn't say that. He, he didn't say, why can't I pay for this? He says, like, what's happening here? Why can't I go? Why, why can't I take my stuff? Wait, uh, one more question. How yeah. did he pay for the first round? It, it, it worked. His card worked at that point. Yeah, so maybe the, that fucking money sat him over the edge. I think so. Oh, no. But uh, his, his card... No, actually, he paid with cash the first time. Okay. And then he paid with card the second time, and his card wasn't working. He didn't it's hard to say. Cash. I was like, if he paid card the first time, it clearly just sat up to the limit where he got blocked. Yeah, but uh, no, he, he was paying with card by this time, and then basically he was like, why, you know fucking why what's happening here i says basically you can't leave i had this i thought he was a bit simple on it, honestly yeah in all fairness i thought he was a bit simple on it. i says to him look you can't leave this shop with these items because your card hasn't worked you don't have any money to pay so you can't pay for it so you can't take it out of the shop i was like okay and I, and I say I said to him like so basically everything you've tried to buy that's in this bag here because you've already bought that stuff that's in this bag here hasn't been paid for you can't take it out i would have just said to man but like there is an atm outside if you want to go and attempt to lift cash out and pay in cash i didn't know what the fuck he was doing i, I would have just said that but then again he would be like how does that work exactly well yeah. <laughs> tell it stick your deck in no um, no and then but basically what happened was he just fucks off he walks out of the shop but he walks out of the shop leaving the fucking bag of stuff that he actually paid for as well. So now there's stuff that's being paid for that's sitting behind the counter that can't go back on the shelves because it's being paid for. Yeah. So it just sits there the whole fucking day. Other shit goes back around 12 o'clock. Um, I think I'm... The next day? No, no, no. The same day. Because uh, this was about it. So around 12, 1 o'clock or whatever. I just come back from lunch. Um, so it must have been about 1, half 1 or whatever. Uh, basically, the police come in. Oh, and I was thinking, oh, fuck, what's happening here? Because she's not buying. She's looking to speak to someone, you know, and me thinking that I do all the legal stuff, so. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. No, I mean. They just come in and you're sweating, literally just like, yeah. uh, uh, so uh, where is that? I don't have weed. Yeah. I was going to ask where the bathroom is, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to talk to you after. Yeah. She's like, I don't have bodies. No, but uh, basically, the fucking police woman comes in. I'm like, all right, I'm going to help you sort of shit. Because, you know, customer service, you need to be cool to people. Um, she comes in and she's like, yeah, hi, we're just wondering uh, if the if this man has come into the shop or you've seen this man at all today. Hands me the phone. I'm like, oh, that's that weird guy that I served. Because I told Ryan, my boss, about it. Um, and then I was like, oh, that's that fucking weirdo that I served. He was really I'm sure you weird. didn't say that. No, I, I literally said, oh, that's that fucking weirdo that I served. Oh, wow. I said that to her. I was like, that's that weird man that I served. He was really weird on it. He seemed like he was on drugs or some shit. And she goes, yeah, he's having a psychotic episode because he's he's got some sort of head disease or something. And he, uh, he's, he hasn't taken his meds. So yeah. he's gone off on a psychotic episode and he doesn't really know where he is and all that. He's gone off on an adventure as well, it seems like. Uh, so we had to go up, check the cameras, find out where he went, and then the police are on their way. That was... That was it. Apart, apart from like, that whole shit, that was really Fair fucking... Enough. That pissed me off so <laughs> shocking. Like, I had to go out for a smoke after that. Fair so, enough. So, yeah. So that was that story. Oh, wow. It was... Uh, I, none of these are funny, so... <laughs> Well, I found it pretty fun. Yeah. So, uh, my first one is literally... Oh, fuck off! Dear God, man. I'm trying to flip it. Right. Can I open the thing and have it? Yeah, go for it. Yay. No. Right, so my first story is... It's actually going to be a really short one. I think I've told you before, but I'm going to say it again, because it was hilarious. Okay. It was me and Slay went to the 24-hour at about, like, 2 a.m. Right. And, right, see whenever you were working... I'm actually going to say, because you probably know. See whenever you were working the night shift... Did this guy ever come up to the window? Because I see him there a lot. And he always had a bike. And he always had like a big jacket and a bag. And he was kind of small. He was a bit older. And he was like kind of tannish. Does he, did he speak English? I don't think he did, no. Does he have glasses on? Yes. Christian? Hey! 
excuse me, can I uh, get some uh, feta cheese, goat milk? Fucking all that shit. And then he takes a piss around the corner. Yes, that's actually what I was going to say. Yes, wait, how, how, did you, how did you know? Because I serve him all the fucking no, time. I didn't really do a because he does it all the time? Yeah, but how did you know I told you? What? Who told you? How do you know? Were you just leaving work one day? No, I served him, and then as I was serving him, there, there was a girl behind him, and I went over and got all of his shit, and he was like, Hey, can you call me taxi? No. Okay, thank you. All that shit, and then the girl, sorry, and then and then the girl goes, he just took a piss around the corner. I was like, are you serious? She goes, yeah. I'm like, that's fucking disgusting. All right, all right. I couldn't do anything about it, but he, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I said to, I said to Richard, like, this guy took a piss around the corner, he's like, oh yeah, Christian, no, he always does that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you know, it's normal? Yeah. No. So, <laughs> yeah. so me and Slay came to 24 hour. We got our shit. We were coming back. And he was there. Mm -hmm. So as we were going in, no to actually step on the grounds of it. Yeah. He was coming out past us. <coughs> and uh, we walked up. Obviously, I don't know if it was you that served us that night. Mm -hmm. I think it might have been. I don't know. Actually, I think you might have been working. But Joseph was on the window. Oh, uh, I smoke. But, uh. I don't know. But then we started walking back, right? Actually, you know what? I do think it was you because I think me and Slay were laughing because I turned around and goes, I'm going to come back at five and visit Che again. <laughs> but then we stood, right? So the guy was standing. Do you know, as you come out of 24, you walk up mm -hmm. and uh, you turn left in. No way, a car police here. Yeah. The first street that you come up to go to Iceland to meet me. Yeah. He was on the corner of there and I didn't think much because he was just standing there. See, he had his back to us. I just thought, you know what, he's just stopped to have a break or he's on his phone or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, not much. So we just walked and I'm on the side of the road and Slay is on the side of that. So this points out, because I'm looking in the direction of Slay, which is away from him. And he's looking in the direction of me, which is basically staring at him because he's behind me. Right. So we walk up and we walk past him. So at this point, he's behind me and I see Slay's face drop. Mm -hmm. But I, I, we're, I don't know, I think I told like a joke or something. Uh, at this moment, it was perfect, and Slay's face dropped, so I thought his face dropped by my joke. But the thing is, his face looked like terrified. Mm -hmm. So we walked past, and I turn around and goes, why did your face look terrified at that joke? And he goes, what? And I goes, why did your face look terrified at that joke? And he goes, it wasn't about the joke. And I goes, what? And he goes, did you not see him? And I goes, what? And he goes, him back there. And I goes, what about him? And he goes, he was taking a piss. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, okay. I was like, whatever you say. And he goes, no, I'm serious. He was taking a piss. And I was like... Okay, Slay. And I goes, it's not funny. And he just turned around. He turned around and goes, no, Josh, I'm actually telling you now. He goes, he had his dick out and there was water coming from it. He was taking a piss. And I just close that over and over again. Um, I turn around and goes, nice, Slay. I goes, it was funny the first time. It's not funny anymore. Get over it. And he turned around and goes, Joshua, I know what I saw. <laughs> he goes, I know what I saw with my own eyes. He goes, he took a piss. And I turn around and goes, Right, okay, why you keep going on about this? He goes, I'll prove it to you. And I goes, okay, then you prove it to me. Because I was taking the piss. I thought he was laughing. I goes, you prove it to me then. So we walked back. And there was just a big ass puddle. Just on the ground. And Slay turned around and goes, that's where he pissed. And I goes, nah, someone could have just spilled stuff. And he goes, do you want to sniff it? And I was like, no, not really. And he turned around and goes, so it's pissed. And I was like, okay. I was like, there's no way. And I, I was kind of believing it, but I was kind of shocked. And I was like, there's no way he just done that. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. And I was like, that's fucking mad. But the thing was, it wasn't even the fact that he pissed publicly that had me in shock. Mm -mm. It's the fact of where he done it. Right. Because for those of you who don't know, across from the 24 hour and across from where it's actually done it is a police station. Mm. <laughs> With a lot of cameras. Mm -hmm. And he was facing the way of the road. So the thing is, if someone passed, you know, uh, they're getting a free show. Uh, <laughs> you know, and they bring a magnifying glass, they might just get a free show. Uh, uh, but there was a lot of cameras. And I said he was looking that way. So some unlucky bastard of a police officer is literally just going to be checking cameras. Be like, oh, I wonder if anyone's speeding past the police station. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Why is, he play why is he playing with his penis? <laughs> Literally, I said he'd done it right beside there. Fuck. But the thing is, that's not where it ended because that happened. And I was in shock. And for the next few days, it all went through my head because I was like, there's no fucking way he'd done that. Mm -hmm. Me and Slay went to 24 hour again a couple of days later, maybe. We saw him come past us. And I turned around to Slay and I goes, 
I swear to God. I goes, he wouldn't do it again. It was a one-time thing. <laughs> we literally, we walked past. There was no, nothing on the ground, right? Yeah. Nothing, all dry, because it didn't rain or anything. We walked past, just before running the grounds, I turned back to look, he stopped there again, and I was like, nah, he's just on his phone this time, he's not doing it. We walked back up, and there's a big-ass puddle there. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> That's not it. That's not it. Oh, my God. There's a big-ass puddle there. Now, he's about a bit up, just past the, we you know the wee fucking car wash or whatever it is? No. It's beside the car place. Yeah. He's a wee bit past that now and he stops again. The thing is, I see him pull it down. It's oh. like, he didn't piss this time though. Mm-hmm. Do you know whenever a guy pisses mm-hmm. and uh, you need to make sure <laughs> that you don't piss, he pisses yourself. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you flick your dick basically yeah, yeah. to get... He started going like that oh and flicking his hand and I was in complete shock and Slay goes, is he flicking the piss off his dick? And I go, shit. I go, Slay, there's only two things. He's either doing that, or he's having one off in the middle of the street. <laughs> and I goes, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if it was both. <laughs> <laughs> I goes, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you know what I get when I read piss, though, right? Oh, like, fucking... And see, see your person in the toilet, and you flick it, right, and you're, vi- like, I vi- like vigorously flick no, it. No, I, I literally go... <laughs> yeah, that's you me. You hear it? <laughs> yeah. I, I do that, and then you put your dick back in your fucking boxers, and then a little bit of pee comes out as well, as it's right, like, right back in your fucking boxers, and you're like, fuck's sake, like, no, nah, I need to go and change my fucking boxers, because there's piss in it, or yeah. just hold her drive over Oh, God. Fuck, man. But yeah, that was, I actually can't believe the way he goes, takes piss around the corner, I was like, how the fuck do you know that, because he always does it, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> He's consistent. He is. He's fucking ridiculous. Oh, fuck. Every night, man. And the then thing there's... was, I walked past him dozens of times before, and I never saw it. I never knew. It. There was, like, now that I'm thinking about it, there was times where there was a wet patch on the ground, but mm. I always think because there is a drain there. Yeah. So I always just thought that maybe something leaked from a drain, but now I think about it. If it leaked from a drain, there would be the big wet spot, but then there would be a line yeah. of where it comes. And I was like, there never was. Mm-hmm. And it's always in the same spot. And that's always where he stops. And I goes, he's done that multiple times. And I've walked past him and never noticed because I've been listening to my music. Yeah. Little did I know this man was fucking <laughs> helicoptering <laughs> in the fucking middle, on the fucking main yeah. road. Fucking committing publicly, public indecency. Yeah. <laughs> fucking giving them a show. Uh, fucking <laughs> that's that's what he does like he's also he's uh, see uh, he, he comes to the window at about 2am oh. every single night and he's drunk all the time sometimes he rides a bike sometimes he doesn't I never um, see him ride that bike I always see him wheeling yeah I never then, see him fucking up exactly it, what's point now I don't fucking know he, pro- he probably cycles up gets drunk some walk back did I tell you the story about him who Kristen no and some girl. We'll count this as your second story. Here. Oh no! Okay, because this is going to be ages. Yeah, we're sorry. doing a part two anyway. No, that's gone. Um, right. Okay. Basically, some girl. I think I think I told you this, but there was some girl, a really cute, really alternative girl. Like she had like dyed her and shit, okay. tattoos, fucking cute as fuck. <coughs> like what I thought was cute because you probably wouldn't think that's cute no uh, oh yeah see but I, th- I thought she was cute as fuck I was talking to her having a nice conversation sort of flirting with her really good and then she was flirting back and then Christian comes up starts talking to her she's like oh right where are you from <laughs> all that shit and then basically whenever I come back uh, from getting her stuff he's fucking her no the class. no no but he's sitting there <laughs> Is he pissing? No. <laughs> Why did you come back and he's talking while he's pissing? He's talking to her. He's just talking, pissing on her shoes. Right. It's, it's the okay. worst part. It's, it's okay. Now you don't need to cling the muck off. Yeah, it's the worst part. I need you to stand for this part because I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what he did, right? But I'm, then I'm going to tell your people what to he did after, all right? Us. Yeah. So basically they're having a conversation. I, I, I can't hear it because it's through the glass. <laughs> He's like, I, I'm going to do this, right? And it's going to be a mumble, but he's like, ah, yeah, he's talking and everything, and then he just goes, ah. <laughs> 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 and then, <laughs> 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 he's a fucking... <laughs> he goes, right, this is to your audience, because you're fucking on the wall laughing like shit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's not even the best part. 
fun. You didn't even <laughs> tell them. <laughs> <I> told <laughs> them. The funniest <laughs> thing is, you done that. <laughs> We've been laughing now, and they don't know what we're laughing at. <laughs> yeah. So basically, a cute girl comes up and talks to this kind of alone guy, 40-year-old virgin type. Yeah, they heard that. Part yeah, of so life. he's talking to her, and then, you know, whenever you bop someone on the nose with one finger, he goes, ah, and then he just bops her on the nose, and then she goes, hey, like, out there, and start laughing. I can away. imagine literally yeah. just having a conversation, just going, poink. Yeah, <laughs> and then, nose. basically, she goes, <coughs> and she, she fucking leaves, he comes up. Does he? Does he reach under and go, Nuz, give me Nuz. <laughs> <laughs> he reaches under, bring here, no. <laughs> give me Nuz. <notes. laughs> no, but he would have done that. Give me dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> give me dick on the job. <laughs> give me peanuts so we can helicopter together. No, but basically, uh, he fucking, she walks off and then he walks up like this, all smiling and everything, because he's really short, he's like five foot. He, he walks up, he's like this here and he's like, Hello, can I have 50-50 bread, please? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there smiling. I'm like, all right, Christian. Hello, can you give me King Snow 50-50, please? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck me. <laughs> I was like, how alone do you have to be? Like, I'm alone, but I've had at least three girls in the past year. Like, oh, fuck me. The part that I just find the funniest... The part I think is going to be the funniest is the fact you done it and we laughed for about a good 30 mm-hmm. seconds and the fucking audience had no contact with what you done. They were just exactly. like, what the... You literally hear me laughing. I fall against the wall and go to the ground. Tears are tripping my eyes. Yeah. Tears are tripping my fucking eyes. And they just did. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> it was funny as fuck. Oh, oh I didn't even write that one down. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, uh, I need to write a book of short stories. Fuck me. Oh, it's actually amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Pop the fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. Oh shit. Woo. Yeah, that was fucking brilliant. <laughs> write your second story. No, well, now I kind of feel like I want to change my second story. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, ah, uh, there was what is it? I'm debating between two stories to tell you. Okay, so I feel like I've decided on one. Okay. <clears throat> I've ever told you about the time. <coughs> so, obviously, whenever I go to the courts, because mm-hmm. you've been there with me, yeah, everyone smokes. A lot of them smoke weed. Uh-huh. I've been offered weed and all. I've been offered weed and all multiple times, right? Yeah. Did they ever tell you... Fuck off. Did they ever tell you about the time the guy offered me more than weed? No. No? No. Okay. More right. than more than weed or more than weed? More than weed. More than weed? Yeah. No. Right, so this was an average fucking day. <clears throat> Literally. Just an average day. I thought, you know what? It's a nice day. I'ma go down to the basketball courts. I'ma get some shots up. I'ma play a few games, you know, just play basketball. So this guy comes <clears throat> and I think he was like uh Polish maybe. Hmm. Probably. Polish, Lithuanian, I'm going to say Polish. Yeah. Comes in, walks up to us, right? Because obviously, like, in <clears throat> Ormo, if you want to ask, you just go up and ask. Mm-hmm. He just walks up, and he just goes, uh, can I play? We already had even numbers by this point, but we were like, yeah, fuck it, sure. Because the teams were uneven anyway, so adding one more person. Yeah. Having odd numbers was actually more even. Uh, <clears throat> so we were like, yeah, fuck it, hop on in. So we did. So we played about a game or two, and he was like, right, okay, I want to take a break, blah, blah, because everyone takes a break for water. He went over, he goes, I want to take a smoke first. So he took a smoke mm-hmm. of weed, because it smelled. Yeah. <laughs> After taking the smoke of weed, he then takes out a normal cigarette, and he smokes that. I don't know why you feel the need to smoke both, but uh, fuck me. So he smokes that. This fucker's taking about, like, 15 minutes, and we just want to play, for fuck's sake. So we start playing without him. Uh, <clears throat> we just start playing without him, blah, blah, blah. He then takes, I swear to God, he was on everything for fuck's sake. He takes out, and whenever you go to the courts, you automatically think, I'm going to bring water. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I'll drink a bit of Coke, give me energy, and I'll drink water. This fucker takes out a fucking beer. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. (laughs) Because I've drunk beer at the courts, I'm not going to lie. But when I'm playing competitively, I don't. Because that's just going to shut down my system. Exactly. So then he just drinks the beer. And obviously we're all playing at this point, he's doing that. He kind of complains that we're playing without him. And literally, I think it was Jesus. Maybe he turned around and goes, you were taking a while, so the fuck would just run on one up without you. 
And he turns and goes, oh, well, I want to play, blah, blah, blah. And Swish goes, you ready then? And he goes, no, 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 I'll be ready in 10 minutes. He goes, right, so we'll finish this. Because this guy was just like, fuck me. Yeah. Like, you're, you're taking a smoke, you're fucking drinking, you're doing whatever the fuck you are, so we're just playing. Yeah. So then he can you do that, blah, 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 we were in the match. And obviously, I always run point guard, so I'm always at the top of the key. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, always checking ball. And this was one of these days where I was trying to get my teammates going. So I kept passing, so I stayed there. I kept passing, and I kept glancing over at him because he was walking back and forth, and he was on the phone, um, and he was fucking talking in his language. So I'm going to assume he's Polish. Hmm. He was talking in his language back and forth, crazy. blah, blah, blah. What? Those Polish fucking people are crazy. Like... <clears throat> he was walking back and forth, uh, talking, blah, blah, blah. And that... Like, I didn't really care, that's fair. But <clears throat> the thing caught my eye, he was on his phone, he goes, blah, blah, blah. And I heard him say stuff like Ormu. And then I heard him say ba something, a word that sounded like basketball. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, right, he must be talking about Ormu basketball courts. Yeah. So I synced it together because I wasn't doing much. So I kind of just focused because he was kind of acting. It wasn't really strange, but fuck me, he was loud. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just thought that. I was like, right, okay. So then he jumps in. We play about another game or two. Then this guy comes in the courts. And automatically we think, oh, sweet, we have even teams. This guy walks off the court and he goes over to his bag. He lifts money out and gives it to the guy. The guy gives him, I think it was weed because it was a bag. Yeah. And uh, he gives him the bag. And I'm like, right, fucking, there's a drug deal going on. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, but I'm like, then again, it's basketball courts. Why am I surprised? Yeah. So then blah, blah, blah continues. <clears throat> The day finishes, it's about fucking half eight, nine, everyone's going home. Fuck. And there's only a few of us left. There's probably about four of us, five of us left. So obviously I go over, I sit down on the top of the basketball. He starts fucking smoking another joint because he clearly has a fucking problem. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then he just started talking to me. He couldn't speak proper English, but he could speak English. And he just started talking to me and he's like, blah, blah, blah. He offered me the weed, like I said. And I was like, no, 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 I'm good. Mm -hmm. And then he asked me, do I smoke? And I was like, no. And he goes, do you drink? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, did you do anything else? And I was like, what do you mean? Did I do anything else? I was like, uh, what do you mean? No, I'm like, just curious. Mm -hmm. He turned around and goes, do you do anything else? And I was like, but what do you mean? And he's like, you, you drink, you don't smoke weed, you don't smoke cigarettes. I started doing his accent there or something. Yes. You don't smoke weed, you don't smoke cigarettes. He goes, do you do anything else? I goes, you mean drugs? And yeah. he, go, he goes, yeah. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like no yeah. this guy could have been an undercover cop for all I think uh, maybe that fucking maybe he just scented a cigarette to smell like weed uh, I don't know but I, he turn around, I just goes no because I've never done it yeah. and he turns and goes alright have you ever wanted to try it Fuck. and I didn't like where this was going <laughs> I goes no and he turns and goes alright I've tried it and then he told me he tried like MD and fucking coke and shit uh, and he turns and goes he basically in long story short he basically said coke is a, coke is a fucking rush and shit mm. and uh it's great and i turn around and goes no i would never try because i just think it's stupid because yeah. it is uh. and i just turn around and goes no i'd never try because i think it's stupid <clears throat> and he literally said to me because you see people you've saw multiple times i play with people in the courts they always go do you have facebook yeah and i always add them on facebook because then we always we all we're all in a basketball group on facebook so then we all just say when we're coming down uh. <coughs> so he asked me to have facebook and i was like yeah so he added me on Facebook. I deleted him as soon as I got home on Delhi Night. Seriously? Yep. Fuck. I, I haven't thankfully seen him because then he probably would have been like, why did you delete me on Facebook? Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, he asked me for a Facebook so I gave it to him because I just thought that he was going to say, oh, I'm adding you so we can mention to come down again. And I'm like, oh, that's fair enough because he was a good player. Mm. And then he just turned around and goes, uh, as soon as I gave him a Facebook, he goes, right, I sent you it there. And he goes, sure, you can let me know if you're coming down again. And I was like, right, okay. And he turned and goes, and you know, you can let me know if you want to try, actually try anything. He goes, because I can actually hook you up. And I was like, no, I think I'm all right. And he was really fucking persistent. And he was like, because I can get you a good price. And I goes, no, 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 I'm all right. And I just, oh, he, he was pushing my fucking buttons. And he turned around and was just like, yeah, 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 but just in case you want to. And I goes, look, mate, no offense. I don't want to. I think it's stupid. I'm never going to do drugs. <laughs> I literally walked over to my bag put my fucking ball in and he was he was no trying to talk to me still and I asked her and go sure I'll hit you up if I'm coming back down again and he tried to continue and I was like yeah so you sound the friend Chris I'll tap to whenever I get home sure and then 
I goes, I'll tell you whenever I get home, I'll talk to you, blah, 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 I'll see if you're coming down again, yada, yada, yada. And he continued to talk. But while he was talking, I kept over-talking him mm -hmm. because I can talk really fast and loud. And I was like, all right, mate, it was good playing for you. You actually played well today. I should see you again. It would be hopefully play for you again. Uh, you're pretty good. And now I'm going to head home here. So I'll maybe play for you next week or something. And I just walked away and I put me in. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> but the thing is, see when he goes, do you want weed? I was like, no, nah, I'm alright, but that's normal, because I've been offered it multiple times. Yeah. Do you want a cigarette? Nah, I'm good. Do you want a beer? I've been offered that by, like, no way I used to. Remember the guy I told you? Uh, Jim and... Uh, Alan. Alan. Yeah. Remember I told you about uh, I, I drank some of our beer as well. Yeah, you yeah. done that as well. Um, Jim was always the one, he always brought beers down, he always drunk, and he always offered me a beer. <clears throat> and if I wasn't playing serious, I'd take one. I, I actually miss him because, of course, he was so funny. I miss Alan as well. Yeah. But, uh, no, he's offered me a beer. I've took it not. But the thing is, I've never had someone to my face say, I can hook you up with Coke, mm. MD, all of that. Would you like me to? Yeah. And I've never had, after saying no, someone be so persistent. Like, exactly. Jesus fucking Christ. I literally met you about three hours ago today. <laughs> Yeah. And you're trying, you're offering me coke for a good price. I know. I don't care what price it is. So, you're not fucking getting it. See if he literally just turned, I swear to God, see if he continued and just goes, oh, I can get you coke for a good price. I should have asked him how much. And if he turned around and goes, like, say, for example, oh, 40 quid. I'd be like, 40 quid for Coca Cola? That's a fucking ripoff. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Imagine he was, and then there was actually a drink called MD, and he was just talking about energy drinks and shit, and I just took it wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was talking about MD. But yeah, that was my story. I took ages for me to fucking get, and I was like, oh, yes, this guy offered me drugs in the court. <laughs> oh, sure. Right. Funny one. So. There's, 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 there's a couple ones. I was doing a couple of videos. Where's the cunty one? Right, so the cunty drunk prop that contradicted himself. And called you a tramp. That's the one I want to hear. Okay. Right, and this will end it all because this is actually longer than that's bagging. Yeah. But it's a good video though, to be fair. Yeah, I know, but we're doing a part two. I'll just fart and be short. I really have a fart. Can I, ca can I catch a fart on camera? Go for it. Yay! Two seconds. Fuck's sake. No, it was a poof. Sorry. <laughs> Sick. Right. <laughs> just read your story. I'm oh, sorry. Right. Where are we here? To look through my memories. Which is bad. Um, I can't be prick drunk twat who contradicted himself, called you a tramp, and his girlfriend kept on talking about Space Raider Crisps. I'm not gonna lie, the Space Raider Crisps is the one that they, they caught me interested. Yeah. I'm just setting us up, by the way. No, that's, uh, that's grand. Basically, it was, what time was it? About 3 o'clock in the morning, because I was doing night shift in the spa. Shite. Um, this dude comes up. Uh, he, all of his people are in the fucking taxi. The girl herself is sitting, uh, like the window's down. She's sitting with her arse out of the fucking window. What? So, yeah. What? So, you know where you sit in a bed like this, right? So, say you're sitting on, on the bed like that there, right? Yes. So, say this is inside of the fucking car. She's sitting like that on the window while the car's riding. So she is. So she's sitting with her arse out the window. Her legs in the car, holding on to the car while it's driving, shouting out shit to her boyfriend for her to get, you know, for him to get it and everything. While it's driving? While it's driving slowly. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you meant while it's actually driving. No, no, no. It's, it's I was like, this, bi this bitch is going to fucking catch a stop sign to the face. No, fuck. <laughs> no, that, that, no. I'm that not that like. She's just like, I want my space radar. And she <laughs> yeah. just pulls a backflip. <laughs> I feel like something fucking GTA. Oh, fuck yeah. We should play GTA tonight. Oh. But uh, basically, dude comes up asking for cigarettes right. for him and his girlfriend. She's like, Fast Red Eyes! Fast Red Eyes! Is that the brand of cigarettes you want? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's yeah, asking for, that brand. Oh, he's asking for cigarettes, tobacco, all that shit. And then basically, um, I go and get her Space Raiders, whatever she wants. Big pack of beef Space Raiders, you know, of yes, course. Beefy. Yeah. Uh, you will hear her by the end of this then. Basically... I swear to God, if she, if she goes, I didn't want the beef ones, I want the green ones. Just wait. Just you wait. If she did, you should have <coughs> took the tray out. 
<coughs> walked outside and cracked it over her stupid ass. Fucking probably signed on the door, have an ass. Fucking stupid mm. ass bitch probably has a fucking boyfriend that literally claims off all benefits because he's stupid broke ass bitch. Yeah. Fucking have a new no job. <laughs> Hello, titty, no nipple having bitch. Aye. Fucking prick and cracker over the head. <laughs> no, but basically, her boyfriend, uh, I'm assuming it's her boyfriend, uh, said. Uh, Did he kiss her in the lips? No, he was at the window. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I'm assuming it's her boyfriend, he's kissed her lips. No, I was she like, was well, then she should just be your uncle. Oh, fuck! Or her priest. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's an 11 year old boy called John. No. Uh, basically. Billy. I felt. Right. Let me, but no, right. Uh, basically, she fucking, she was in the taxi shouting out shit, and this guy was getting the cigarettes, and he was, uh, I had all the shit sitting there, but he, he, t- he told me, like, all the food that they wanted, I had it sitting there. Um, and basically, Already, before he came up? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, all right, okay. Um, no, I, 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 I went to get it, and basically, she, no, he says, ah, oh, fuck, I don't even want to listen to her, just give me the fucking cigarettes, that's all I want. So I gave him the cigarettes, handed them out to him. He's like, cheers. And then his girlfriend shouts stuff. And then he looks back at me and he's like, where's the rest of my stuff? I said to him, mate, you didn't, you, you told me you didn't want it. And I, and he goes, no, where's the rest of my stuff? Like the crisps, the sweets, the drink, the everything. Where's all that? I says to him, mate, you didn't want that. You told me not to listen to her. You said that you just wanted your cigarettes. And I've gave you your cigarettes. And he goes, oh, you fucking tramp. And then he just walks back in, uh, into the taxi. And as they're about to drive away, she shout. And I'm trying to serve other people. She shouted out to me, "Why the fuck are you giving me beef space raiders? No one likes the fucking beef space raiders. I wanted the pickled onion. See if someone comes up and says they want the beef space raider. Some fucking wrong one, so it is. All this shit. I just like, oh my fucking god. And he fucking walked away, calling I me a hope. trump. She fell out of that car. Yeah. Be for lovely. Under the car. Yeah. The wheel went over her head. The taxi driver goes, oh shit, we have to go back and get her. Reversed over her head again. Yeah. Drove forward. Re- over her head again. <laughs> swerved round. <laughs> run over turned. her body. Yeah. And then a bird came and shit on her ass. Uh, no, mate. I li- fucking... No, I guarantee you that guy. No way he goes, just give me my cigarettes. Yeah. Guarantee you, he goes, just give me my cigarettes. Because he didn't want to buy all the rest of the shit. But he wanted you to just hand them so he could play the victim and say that you were in the wrong. So yeah. his girl wouldn't start on him. Uh, I swear to God, see if I was on the fucking window when he turned around and goes, oh, you Trump. I'd be like, right, you know what? I'm off in fucking 15 minutes. You yeah. wait right fucking there. Yeah, I was like, see, you wait right there. See, that, that, that was the actual point. I would Whenever... light the cigarette. And put it on his eye. Yeah. See. You look that... fucking terrified. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no I'm, 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 I was trying to like, I was, I was, I was visualizing something. There was a, uh, see whenever he, he, cause he walked away, basically, he was like, yes, he was like, oh, you fucking tramp. And then just walked past. See whenever he said that, I knocked the window at him. He says, excuse me, the fuck are you talking to? Said that to him, and then he just got in the fucking taxi, and then his girlfriend started talking about the fucking space readers, and she was like, she kept on shouting about the space readers, and then she's like, bye, bye, see you never, you're a fucking dead. I was just like, yeah, go on, go on, I give her the finger and everything, like, because you're behind a fucking glass wall, like, what's the worst she's gonna do, even if he comes to me, I'm gonna knock him fucking, like, honestly, it was so annoying, and he was drunk. I can understand that you're drunk and you're a bit of a dick whenever you're drunk, but fuck me, no one deserves that much abuse. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to do my fucking job a dead hour shift in a shop to get money yeah. to pay for my fucking car. And the, these cunts are coming up on a fucking Wednesday night. Or whatever night it was. Fucking Wednesday, probably. You know, it was... Yeah, tots, yeah. Uh, it was just ridiculous. It was it was the most weirdest encounter I've had on this video. The weirdest encounter I've had is the Zonked Out guy. Huh? Fuck me. The, the weirdest encounter I've had with anyone it was the Zonked Out guy, but we'll talk about that later. Right. I'm actually going to do one more day and it's just so teen because mm-hmm. I just thought of one now that you said that I think I got to tell the story about Joseph's poor tray <laughs> <laughs> yes yes I, I think I got to because I was there I was there <laughs> so <clears throat> anyone who has a 24 hour shop near them will know there's always a window there's a little gr- silver box and there's always like a wee tray that they Hot put sh- your shit in Hot shit. Yeah. Always a wee tray that put your shit in you put the money in blah 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 <clears throat> so, <clears throat> someone Shay works with Joseph. 
Such a swell guy. Yeah. But uh, me and Slay rock 24. It's always with Slay. Yeah. But I've only ever had a few strange encounters. Well, actually, no. I've had a few strange encounters whenever I've been by myself. Pog one where some guy was talking shit to me and I told him to fuck off. Like, he just started being a dick. Because, like, I think, like, this is literally just short story. He was literally ordering and he got his shit and he mustn't have been happy. But I walked up after he walked away and he came back <clears throat> and he goes, oh, blah, 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 you didn't give me this, this, this. And the goes, well, you can wait, blah, blah, blah. And this guy goes, no, he can wait. No, referring to me. Yeah. And I goes, no, I will not. Yeah. And he turned and goes, no, nah, I was here first. And I goes, yeah, then you walked away and I'm next in line. And I goes, you can wait after me. Because it was, it was like me fucking him and then some guy behind me. And I goes, you can wait after me. And he turned around and goes, nah, man, I want my shit now. And I goes, well, tough shit. I'm getting my stuff. And I literally, because I didn't give a fuck. Because I was like, the thing is, you say something to me. I'm not on the other side of the glass, mate. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah. And I literally just go, he just started talking shit. And I goes, fuck off, mate. I think he was drunk as well. I goes, fuck off, mate. No one cares about your shit. And he started talking shit to me while I was standing there no, on the phone. Mm. And I just ignored him. I was standing on the phone. And I could tell that it was irritating him, the fact that I wasn't responding. And then he literally just got irritated after a while and just walked away. And he just, I, I, it wasn't, I think it was a taxi or something. Oh, no. Actually, no. He got in a car to drive, actually. Yeah. But then again, that doesn't mean he's not drunk. It just means he's stupid. Oh. But, uh, okay. yeah, he just got in the car. And then he just started shouting shit to me out the window. And I goes, I love how you're saying it as you drive away. Mm. Good for you. And he just drove away. Because he went till he got in the car. Fucking dick. But, uh, no, there's so many fucking stories from the time for But then Joseph's one. So me and Slayer waiting. There was this guy in front of us. And he was just a fucking dick. He literally was just a fucking dick. And I don't know if he was drunk, but he was a dick in his personality anyway, as you just tell. And he was talking to Joseph. He said he wanted something, blah, blah, blah. Joseph gave him it, etc. Um, yeah, that's it. I think he was... No, that was it. I know what that was. Mm-hmm. Me and Slay showed up just after it started. Yeah. So how it started, because I remember asking uh, Richard yeah. and Joseph. <clears throat> Basically, there was a long line. Because there always is. Because I think it was a Friday or Saturday. Because oh, I always okay. expect a long line. So you go. He was waiting obviously. And it was obviously taking a while. Because there's only one fucking hatch. I don't get why people can't understand that. Yeah. So then Joseph obviously took a while. And Joseph takes his time anyway. Because he can't be asked. With... Yeah. Can't blame him. That's but. This guy was being a twat. And didn't have patience. He's like. Well you just hurry the fuck up. Blah blah blah. So he got up eventually. And he turned and goes. It's about fucking time. <clears throat> and Joseph turned around and goes. You can cut it with the attitude. He said something along the lines. You can cut it with the attitude. He goes, plus, there was a line. He goes, just half the way to turn. And this guy goes, don't fucking tell me what to do, etc, etc. Give me my fucking cigarettes. And Joseph goes, when you speak to me nicely, I'll give you your cigarettes. And he turns and goes, no, give me my fucking cigarettes. And I literally cannot. I have all respect for Joseph. Joseph literally stirred him dead in the eyes. Literally. Do you know why like, you just lean like that? Yeah. Joseph literally leaned on his hand, just stirred him dead in the eyes and goes, be nice about it. <laughs> he literally just goes be nice about it yeah. and just stirred at him and the guy turned and goes no I want my shit blah 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 and he goes I swear to god if you don't give him a cigarette I'm basically going to beat your fucking head in mm-hmm. and Joseph started laughing in his face because <laughs> the thing is no one that knows Joseph what is he is he Polish or what he's uh, Hungarian he's Hungarian he has a like really short hair and he's a beard but he looks like one of those guys that he could literally turn your spine he could rip your spine out and he could wrap your skin around your spine and turn it into a fucking kebab. He has the same sort of hair as Ed from the, from the courts. Yes, he does, yeah. Yeah, the Russian but, uh, yeah. yeah, so this guy was just being a dick, blah, blah, blah. He then decided to take the tray out <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> out of everything, he took the tray out of his side. <clears throat> and he turned around and goes, give me my fucking shit, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, you're not getting this tray back till you give me my shit. And literally, me and Slave were, the thing was... I was talking shit behind him, and he could hear me. Mm-hmm. I literally, he turned around and goes, you're not getting this back until you give my shit. And I said, it, like, uh, on my normal voice that you could hear me, I goes, I don't think that's the way the law works, mate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he goes, I don't think that's the way the law works, mate. He turned around and stared at me and Slay, because mm-hmm. we were pissing ourselves. Like, I didn't care. And he just continued back to Joseph. Because yeah. I was like, because he stared at us, and I thought he was going to say something, and I was like, I dare you to say so. I will take that tray off you and crack it over your big ass head. Yeah. Should say something. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I literally go. I was literally like, I'll crack it over your big ass head and I'll put the tray back. Uh-uh. But um, he just stared at us and you could tell we were pissing him off. But he was already arguing with Joseph. He turned around and goes, I'm not giving you this black blah, blah, blah. Richard then comes up and Richard goes, right, what's going on here? And he goes, he's being a fucking 
cunt. And he, he actually went, cunt. <laughs> no, like a deep voice. I like and, the guy from the fucking videos. Yeah. I was like, oh, Joseph know. was actually pissing himself. Joseph was actually standing there. And Richard started laughing at this point. And Richard goes, so what's actually wrong? He goes, he's refusing to give my cigarettes, blah, blah, blah. And Joseph goes, he, basically Joseph said he's being a dick. And he was causing a scene, so I'm not serving. Because the thing is, you don't have to serve someone yeah. if you're causing a scene. You don't. And uh, <clears throat> so Richard turned around and goes, right, well, if you stopped causing a scene, he would actually serve you. And he goes, why don't you fuck off? And he goes, you with your stupid long ass hair, you be fuck. I think he goes, you be like fucking F. <laughs> But, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah. I turn around and goes, oh, you eat cunt and all that shit. He goes, you have to be long ass her. And he turned around, what was it? Yeah. What was the thing Richard said? He turned around and said something. Yeah, that was it. Richard turned around and goes, look, mate, if you're going to fucking, uh, no, that was it. He was there arguing and the guy brought it up first. And he turned around and goes, here, mate, I'll call the police on you to Richard. And Richard there, and he goes, you're going to call the police on me? Yeah. And he goes, yeah, he goes, on me? And he goes, yeah, and he goes, fucking try me, mate. And he goes, I'm behind this window. I'm fucking invincible. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, like, what a fucking legend. Yeah. And the guy, he turned around and goes, if anything, I'll call the fucking police on you. He goes, the police station's across the road. And uh, do you know the best part I've never had? Like that, I, I earned about 99% respect for Richard. <laughs> this shot me up to 200. <laughs> See, as soon as he goes, there's a police station across. He goes, but you know what the best thing is? There's a camera in above you. Smile for the camera. He literally goes, smile for the camera. And pointed to it. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he literally goes, smile for the camera. And the guy looked at the camera. And you could tell he was pissed. And he goes, right, you giving me my cigarettes or not? And Joseph was like, no. And he turned around and goes, right, do you know what? That's all right then. I'm just going to go. I skipped the part about the taxi driver, to be honest, because he had a taxi driver. Uh. Taxi driver go basically, because this guy was drunk. Taxi driver goes, give him his tray back. Can you give him his stuff? Because obviously this taxi driver um, had to do for This is also a part I was actually ready to jump in and kick this fucking guy's head off. I'm not joking. The taxi driver said, give him the tray back. Can you just give him the cigarettes? Because he was trying to be a peacemaker to just get it sorted, which is understandable. Because that's his fucking job. He needs to hurry up and get you away so he can do a different job. Yeah. And then he, he kind of touched the tray, and the guy trying to pull the tray away, turned goes, don't touch the fucking tray, get back in the fucking car, you stupid cunt, the taxi driver. Fucking... And the thing is, this guy was maybe about 6'3", and taxi driver, he's smaller than me, like, mm -hmm. in height. Oh, and he, he, was, he was real skinny, like, so it's not like he could have done much. Well, 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 for all I know, I'm judging the book bats cover, he didn't look like he could do it. But he turned and goes, fuck off. And the guy went and sat, the taxi driver went and sat in the car for about five minutes, got back out, and goes, right, are you coming or not? He just got pissed and he turned around and goes, right, see you, stupid cunt, go sit in the fucking car. And he literally goes, do you know what? Fuck you, I don't need this job. He goes, go fuck yourself and find your own way home, you stupid wanker. <laughs> and I was there like, fucking go you. I was like, go you. He got back in the car and drove away. See, as soon as he called the guy wanker, the guy looked like he was going to hit him. And I literally, Slay said, Slay even said, he goes, I could see in your face if he had have even lifted his hand to that taxi driver, you were literally going to crack him with that train. And I was yeah. Like, yeah. I was that taxi driver was only trying to do his job. I guess if he literally assaulted him in front of me, I would kick that guy's head clean off and I would drag him to the police station myself. Yeah. I literally said I was I wouldn't have an innocent person be assaulted in front of me back come. Uh -huh. I'm stepping in. And I literally said that. So taxi driver went away and I was like, fucking respect, because he literally goes, You're a fucking wanker, find your own way home. The thing was I'd laugh at that. I said this like, how funny would it be if this guy lived in like fucking Dundal and he couldn't get another taxi? <laughs> But uh, he go at the end. He finally goes. I'm keeping this tray. Blah blah. blah. He fucked off. Walk around the corner. We got up, and we were all everyone in the line was laughing about it. Because there was one guy in between, one or two people in between me and Slay and him, mm -hmm. and me and Slay were at the back of the queue. But by the time we uh, got there, some miles, but everyone was laughing, and uh, we got up. We had a laugh with Joseph and Richard and shit. <clears throat> and then I said to. Richard, I turn around to Richard and goes, here, mate, save a walk around the corner and it's there, I'll bring it back. I said the side, because I just back him to walk around and find it on the ground or something. Yeah. I was literally just going to pick it up and take it back and go, there you go. But it wasn't there, obviously. But, uh, yeah, that was a fucking experience. And I remember coming back, like, maybe a few days later, and uh, Richard was the one serving being slay. And I, he obviously had the tray. And I goes, I see you got your tray back. And he goes, yeah. And I goes, how did you get it? And he goes, we just have spare ones in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just go, do you I'll see you at the back? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Did he actually, actually have spur ones in the back? I assume so, yeah. I think he said that. I fi uh, well, He said, I think we have spur ones in the back. Because uh, I'm assuming, to be honest, you have more than one. Uh, I, I can remember Joseph saying something about a taxi driver brought it back. 
or something like that. Oh, maybe that's what happened. Uh, Richard didn't know what happened. He goes, I think we have spare ones in the back. Yeah. I, I can remember Joseph saying that uh, a taxi driver found it and picked it up and brought it back. Something like that. Something to do with a taxi Maybe that guy it. went and got another taxi then. And then he probably asked, why the fuck do you have a fucking metal tray? Uh, and then he's probably like, oh, this happened. And then he probably asked him and he probably just drove back and fucking... Because he's probably in that hurry. He's like, I might as well just go give it back. I don't know. Yeah. But I know I came back and they had it again. Mad. But I, I was literally... The thing is, as well, me and Slay, because this was about 2am, me and Slay, neither of us were tired. And I said to Slay, because we walk around the corner, he was disappeared, sadly. And I was just like, see if he's still in sight. Do you actually want to just, like, follow his route mm. and see what he does with it? Because I'm not going to lie. I was really curious what he'd do with it. Because I'm like, is he going to throw it in the river? Is he going to throw it in the bush? Is he going to leave it there? Is he going to actually take it home yeah. with him and keep it? Is he going to fucking chuck it at a car? I was like, I want to know what he's going to fucking do with it. But since he's returned, he was gone. Fuck. And I was like, shit. <laughs> it was so sad. Because I was like, you never know. I was like, imagine he just goes home and his wife is there. Assuming he has a fucking wife, actually. He probably doesn't because he's a fucking cop. Yeah. But uh, he goes home and his wife. And she's like, why do you betray him? And he tells her the story. She'd probably take the tray off and beat him over the head for herself. Oh, yeah. he did... No, then me and Slay started the whole fucking joke. He turned and goes, how many trays do you think he's stolen from 24 hours? And I goes, a lot. Mm-hmm. And I goes, imagine he has no way everyone has like a trophy memorabilia. Yeah. And I goes, he walks in and he has all the trof- all the fucking uh, trays labelled where he stole it, what day. <laughs> and then he, sh- he shows everyone, he's like, ah, oh, this is my favourite one. He tells the, the gra- reason. He tells the grandkids, ah, oh, you see this tray right here? Do I have a story for you? Bay fuck, do it. <laughs> Bay fuck, do I have a story for you? And he just tells the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, I was an amazing, I was literally like, that was such an experience. Yeah. I've witnessed so many things. I've come back from the fucking spawn running the foxes. <laughs> Because they come down from the glare. I, oh, shit. I shit myself last night coming back. So, I thought it was a rat. Mm. It was, uh... It was actually, like, a hedgehog. Yeah. Oh, no. See, it looked like a hedgehog. But it had, like, the face of, uh, you know, the anteaters? Yeah. But it, it clearly wasn't an anteater, like, right? Because they wouldn't be around here. No. But it had spikes, but it didn't look like a hedgehog in the face. But I'm going to assume it was a hedgehog. It came out, and it was fucking hell. Sick. It was literally... Except for now, it was about that size. It was about... Bigger than my fist, like really bigger than my fist, Fuck. and it run. Do you know where the rugby club is? Yeah. It run across onto the side I was on. Mm. I walked on the road and walked around the car because I assumed it was a rat. Mm-hmm. And if you get close to a rat, the first thing they do is they go for your neck and uh-huh. they lock their teeth. Now, like first off, we're gonna see stacking off dangerous shit. And you'll die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I walked around and I looked back. I swear to God, I kept looking back. So I was like, "The fuck!" And I assumed it was a hedgehog because I kind of like noticed it was spiky. Mm-hmm. But fuck me, I've seen foxes, I've seen that, uh, I've seen fucking, uh, uh, fucking dead birds and shit. Fuck. Uh, fucking, pfft. I've, I swear to God, I've witnessed drug dealers coming back as well, because I've seen oh. multiple smacks down an alley talking ham shit to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so. McDonald's is. <sighs> Here, you know what big, you know, uh, you know what big Mac? Yeah. He, he hands him the big Mac. <laughs> I guarantee you. There's a twenty. I guarantee you, Smicks that work at McDonald's do drug deals at the counter, and whenever they go to Big Mac, they go on okay, and they give them the bag, and it's actually weed in there, and they go here, keep the tip. Yeah. <laughs> guarantee you that's happened before. Fuck. Oh, the tip is the actual price for the weed. This oh was an eventful podcast. Yeah. I expect it to be half an hour. It's about an hour now. Oh Clearly yeah, it's basically, be a it's basically an hour. Yeah. Uh yeah. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that. Because I fucking did. That was fucking yeah. like, I can't. I enjoyed I Josh uh, on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed. You missed that, actually. We're, is, right. In a couple, whatever the fuck, you're going to start your uh, visual yeah. podcast. Well, not in a couple, but like a while, yeah. Uh, it could be a couple, a couple Soon. of years. <laughs> um, but no, if you if that was visual, you would have witnessed Josh up on the fucking wall dying because that shit was Basically, so funny. I was leaning against the wall. <laughs> Yeah. I run across the room, leaned against the wall, and I literally broke down to both knees and put my fucking head in the ground. And there was tears tripping my eyes. Yeah. Because like, it's the way you did it. You go, ha, 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 boop. Yeah. It was so, I didn't know what you were going to do. Yeah. And it's the, it made it funnier, the fact that the audience did not have contacts of yeah. what you did. It just made it funnier. Exactly. But yeah. That's why I got you up to do it, like. Right. I enjoyed this podcast. It's Me too. very fucking good. Fucking brilliant. If we hit. I don't know. Fuck it, let's do it different. Eight likes. Yeah. I was going to say seven, but that's all. Eight likes. If we hit eight likes, we'll bring out part two of this. Because so, 
has become so cool for some reason. The cool. fuck? I was talking to him already. <laughs> Shay um, has many more stories. And I I have a lot. I just need to write them down, basically. Because I, well I, I know, down, yeah, I know so. a lot, but I can't remember a lot of the details. Yeah. But yes, so if we get eight likes, we'll do a part two. So yeah, as always, hope you guys enjoyed, because we fucking did. And uh, yeah. yeah, if you haven't yet already, smash the subscribe button. Check out Shay's YouTube link. Always a plug. Below. Thank you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Shay's YouTube link down below. Motionless whiskey. I always slur it up. Yeah. Motionless whiskey. And uh, yeah. So, I've been on the Spooded. That's been Shay. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later. Peace.